So Varadla, uh, tell us a bit about Indox. What does Indox do? Indox, we are a local NGO based in Jakarta, Indonesia. Mm. And so what we're doing right now is to create like a program. We call it Dare to Dream Asia, where we select stories from around Asia. So that we have stories from Indonesia, Singapore, Taiwan, Philippines. Mm. So we try, we've been developing the stories for one year. We created two workshops and invited experts like from Europe, all these docu uh, senior documentary filmmakers to develop the stories with these filmmakers. Mm -hmm. And right now our target is to find the money to complete the film actually accomplish it fun and to find partners to distribute the film after mm. the film is finished so this is a perfect venue for this you is the be. perfect venue and this is like our first times also coming uh -huh. to a film uh, market like this and uh -huh. it's been so inspiring yeah. <laughs> so uh, has it been uh, successful so far this is day four yeah, we are this, this, yeah, this is the last day yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah we met a lot of uh, person who expressed their interest like from any other uh, distributor or broadcaster so we'll see after this we will, we will have to follow up it's follow not like up. A follow up it's not like yeah gonna happen in the snap but I know we're getting there yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so dare to start. dream Asia tell us a bit more about dare to dream Asia uh, what 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 sort of message or what what kind of uh, content is it um, basically it's uh, stories about young people in Asia mm. their hopes dreams and frustration mm -hmm. you know there's a lot of things there's uh, stories uh, related with politics mm. there's stories related with religion mm -hmm. everything and families mm -hmm. yeah so the coming of age thing mm. yeah so it's yeah and it's the format is a documentary or it's a documentary we actually some of the film Maker started the project as a feature length program mm. but now we know that uh, there's uh, a way for us to make a television version out of it so that we can also complete the feature length for mm. cinemas or festival mm. Mm. so it could be a, yeah. a series as well yeah. or a film as uh -huh. well yeah. yes, but, yes. but how many how many episodes or uh, we have nine stories uh -huh. right now under the project some of them already got picked up uh, mm. by NHK maybe and some of them some distributor and mm. a broadcaster has expressed their interest uh -huh. But let's see, maybe we will not sell it as like a whole series. It could be like a one-off uh, mm. different part of it and mm. join the mm. a program that is already set up by the mm. broadcasters. But you recruit uh, filmmakers from all over Asia? Yes, yes. And then mm. give them the, the workshops? Give them the workshop and they, they, they are the one who bring the stories actually. Uh -huh. So we uh -huh. select them from the stories uh -huh. that they apply. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And this is the initiative of a, a Jakarta uh, NGO or uh -huh. is it an international NGO? Uh, we are collaborating with STEPS. STEPS is also an organization from South Africa actually. So this is STEPS and INDOX projects uh, together. And STEPS already has a similar program before. Uh -huh. uh, so we are trying to do the, uh -huh. their scheme uh -huh. that they have done before. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. As an NGO, why do you think a, a documentary uh, is a perfect way to communicate your message? Of course, it's always because documentary uh, films, it always starts with the filmmakers. Um, a question of something so it always becomes like a personal project actually that's mm. why like it's a good way mm. uh, it's almost like journalistic too mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the fact that this market is taking place in Bangkok mm -hmm. uh, uh, how, how do you rate Bangkok as a hub for documentaries market uh, yes of course interesting because there are a lot of uh, documentary channel also here in Bangkok so this is the opportunity for us also to meet with them because we want to work with all country, all country in Asia, to maybe, to possibly maybe uh, uh, broadcast the pro the pro documentary after that. So uh -huh. I see in Bangkok, there's like a lot of uh, people who are also coming to our booth and express like, if you have finished the film, we should be in contact. Mm -hmm. We would like to see that and mm -hmm. maybe to possibly uh, acquisite uh, to buy the product. So it's a, mm -hmm. it's a good thing. Is Bangkok? Uh, <laughs> capable or is Bangkok uh, already a hub for mm -hmm. ASEAN or Southeast Asia to be uh, the hub mm -hmm. for the documentaries in your point of view? In my point of view, I know uh, Bangkok has a quite established uh, business also, cinemas here, cinemas industries are quite working well. So I'm sure for documentaries, uh, it's, a, it's a healthy system also. And I know that Bangkok can host such a great event like this. <laughs> right now, it's an amazing venue, actually, that mm. you have here. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting. And Bangkok is always the airport. The, the uh, air, airline uh, transportation is so easy to get here. It's so, so easy to get from everywhere to Bangkok. So it's a perfect mm. place for this kind of event mm -hmm. to to gather everyone from around the world mm -hmm. to be here. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's a and then the participants, I mean, are you <coughs> happy with the uh, the way it's being uh, executed, ASD, for four days? I mean, the program and... and uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, yeah. It's been so inspiring mm -hmm. uh, these four days. Yeah, You have <coughs> events inside. We have a booth, actually, mm -hmm. so we can visit each uh, other's booth and to talk. We have the space to talk. There's a lot of... Uh, 
there's a lot of occasion for us to speak with each other. It's a very nice four days. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Varadla, yeah, yeah, and uh, wish you all the best. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.